this particular video will be concentrating on differentiating logs. In the list below, you can see highlighted in the red box, LNX, that differentiates to 1 over X. For those of you who don't know what LNX is, that's log to the base E of X. So LN is log to the base E. And we can see it differentiates to 1 over X. So we're going to apply this rule to a couple of examples. The first one here, we have to differentiate Y equal to LN 3X squared with respect to X. So we're differentiating this function. So we're differentiating Y with respect to X. So it's DY DX. So as we said, ln x differentiates to 1 over x. So it's 1 over the number beside the ln. So here we have ln 3x squared. So it's going to be 1 over 3x squared. Now what we must also do is differentiate the number beside ln and multiply. So if we differentiate 3x squared, we get 6x. So we're multiplying by 6x. So that will give us 6x over 3x squared. If we break that down, 3 into 6 goes twice, 3 into 3 goes once. x into x goes once, x into x squared goes x times. So we're left with 2 on the top and x at the bottom. So what we did there was we divided above and below by 3x. So just to recap on that, when you differentiate ln, when it's differentiated, it's 1 over the number beside the ln. So in this case, it's 3x squared. So it's 1 over 3x squared. And what we must also do is differentiate the 3x squared and multiply. It was the same the original rule. ln x, we differentiate that, it's 1 over x. You must differentiate the number beside the ln, so when you differentiate x, it's 1. Multiply by 1, it just stays the same anyway. So on to our next example. Again, we're differentiating with respect to x. We have y equal to minus 3 times ln 4x cubed. So again, it's dy dx. So to start, we put 1 over the number beside the ln. So it's 1 over 4x cubed. Now that's multiplied by the minus 3 here at the start. And we also differentiate the 4x cubed and multiply. So when we differentiate 4x cubed, we get 12x squared. So we have minus 3 by 1 over 4x cubed by 12x squared. So that will give us minus 3. 4x cubed multiplied by 12x squared minus 3 by 12x squared gives you minus 36x squared over 4x cubed and just to break that down to its lowest terms 4 into 4 goes once 4 into 36 goes 9 times x squared into x squared goes once x squared into x cubed goes x times so on top, we've got minus 9, and on the bottom, we just have x.